What's up guys, welcome back to this video. In today's video I want to quickly show you how you can um, fix Discord audio errors or issues. That's the topic of today's video, so just stick around if um, you've got any errors or issues. Um, but before we start right into the video, I would really like to mention something. You would certainly make my day if you could leave a like, comment and subscribe to my small little channel. Um, yeah, it would literally mean the world to me, so thank you very much. But uh, let's start right into the video, so just open this card as you normally would. Mm -hmm. And then, um, why? Oh, because I deleted the cache, perfect. Sign in if it's needed. And then head over to the, to the user settings and here uh, down at the app settings click on voice and video and here we need to make sure a few um, settings are um, set. First of all, um, select your input device. You can leave it on default, but I would suggest you to um, select whatever device you want to use. In my case, this will be the Onomic 900B. And uh, input volume, just make sure that this isn't set to zero. And output device, um, just also select whatever you want to use. In my case, this will be my headset and output volume also on normal volume. You can also set it to 200%, but only make sure that it's, didn't, uh, that it's not set to zero. Input mode, um, you can use uh, voice activity or push to talk. Push to talk is for those who want a better mic quality, but in the most cases I would suggest just to use voice activity and to automatically determine the input sensitivity. You can also um, set it manually, but um, easier is if you set it to automatic. Then scroll down to the advanced section and here I would suggest you to turn off the noise suppression, um, turn off this option uh, at the video codec OpenH264 by Cisco Systems and with that the hardware acceleration is also automatically turned off. Voice processing, I would also suggest you to just turn these off um, and the attenuation just also um, put this to 0% and that's already it. Um, we can already head over to the advanced section and here I would suggest you to deactivate the hardware acceleration and then this card just needs to restart and um, that's already it within this card. Next up we're going to um, click in the window search and then head over to the sound settings. Open, this, open the sound settings and then here um, we also need to make sure that we selected the right output device. So just um, select whatever device you want to use and make sure that this isn't muted and set to a normal level. Input device the same. Just um, make sure that the right device is selected and you aren't muted. And then um, we can already head over to the more sound settings in the advanced section and then click on recording and here also select the device you're using click on properties and here head over to levels. Uh, here also make sure that uh, you didn't mute it and uh, did not mute it and advanced section. Um, first of all, I would suggest you to use the best quality. So the more Hertz, the better. Um, so just use 48,000 Hertz in my case. Um, ex exclusive mode, I would also suggest you to check these two settings. Um, so just check these two and then click on op apply and on OK and on OK and that's already it. Um, our audio issues, audio issues should be solved now. If so, leave a like, comment and subscribe to my channel. If not, just also leave a comment and I will write you back as soon as possible. But um, that's it. Thank you so much for watching guys. See you in the next video. Bye.